hello friends so in this video I am going to do a frequency calculation so reason it's a continuation video initially I have done energy calculation using water and then optimization so I will going to do three calculations so three calculations these are important calculations because we are calculating an IR spectra so my first thing is that water will contain these three vibrations there are other vibrations but they will be three will be more prominent so one is symmetric stretch in which two H atoms will um, will move opposite or you can say the bond you, you can see this this uh, the vibration will be in this direction and vibration will be this direction so they are in opposite so this is called symmetric stretch then we have a, a bond angle or bending vibration in which the bonds try to just move opposite to each other followed by the same so it's a bending vibration so its value is around 1595 and symmetric stretch value is around 3652 there is another type of uh, vibration which called anti-symmetric or asymmetric stretch asymmetric stretch is something that uh, two OH bond vibrations of two H bonds are in the same direction so that is we are going to do so the problem is like uh, I have done the calculations and it was just to try it was uh, means for it is very difficult to show it in a video so what I will do is I will just open basics one I will show I will show I will try to show one part with simple hatri folk then we will just do it like simple one i will just use this is our ggf file open and then i will just do a one calculation calculation setup we are doing optimization plus frequency that is what we want then we want method method i will just discuss three method three methods are like this so we can move to next slide if there is yes so our three methods will be like something like this hatri folk 61g second one is b3 lip then third one is b3 lip and 631 plus gtp so these three we can try so th two i will do during this video third I will just post the results and although I have already posted the results but I will s just see it do with the calculation so yeah so let me just submit this job save this file the file is already saved so I will just save it yes we can overwrite it please confirm our submission and let's see our job is submitted or not it should be submitted so please submit our job we want it to submit so this job is running let's see how much time it will take because when I was doing this calculation it was taking time so now it is not means I am not planning to just have this again and again because all these three calculation we cannot just show it in one video then other like this part will be very big this video will be very big I can release it in a three part but I don't think so that will going to be beneficial but because if you know the calculation procedure then you can always add something so that is the one thing so uh, let me just wait for our results that is very important and I hope it will just over just now it will going to be so let's see the running job we have any running job yes one job is running and Q jobs short jobs long jobs so we have like this job is finished and we want to just see it so let's open it and now what we can do is we can just go to this and I will just try to short it. So 
other I think I should just close them because then it will become very difficult to just so I will just use a log file and any checkpoint file is there yeah this is the checkpoint file so I will just also so we will just keep these two file one is a main our gauss view window and another is this one so let's go to results and we can go to vibrations so you can see it's 17373988411145 so these are our, our value let's see the nature so if we just start the first animation it is bending vibration if i go to second one it is in symmetric stretch and if i go to th third one it's an asymmetric stretch so let's use this value and i will just save this value so it is around 1737 and by the way this ones are these one are the original like experimental values so better i will make it red so 1737 they are not close to our calculation so 4 1 four five this is our four one four five yes so this is our first set of data which has come from heart refoc and 631g so i will just close it and uh, next set of calculation i will just do results with calculation okay then meanwhile i will do something which going to benefit you so it's an optimization plus frequency job method we are going to use now the ft with b3 lib same thing we are not adding anything okay let's see we can add but i think i i think we can add some more drp yeah we have we can add drp it's like we are increasing the size of basis set so let me just add one d and one p reason is i just wanted to show how the increase in basis site is changing the things so I will just save this file as uh, DFT and lower basis set. I have already saved it, but for file we have to just submit it. We can submit it using Gaussian calculus setup, and we have to just do method and we have to add other things that is uh, we have already like shown into you. So there is something which is just disturbing my thing, but maybe there is some problem but let me just uh, continue to my work so the thing is when you guys submit this job you will have these results and these results uh, I just don't want it to just see this so please focus on this yes so we will have with b3 lip 631 GDP we will have this result 6613803914 so if we'll try to just do the calculation using one plus function we will have the result 61603380093 so the reason i did three calculations which i have not shown you and uh, so with three calculation you will have this kind of value so you will end up with a value which will close for this value so if you you can submit you can if you want to submit we can just already submit this file we can submit or we can confirm job submission and we will end up with some results it is it is as simple as that if we submit it will be like run in the background but results i will show like with 631 gdp you will have 1664 values then so the purpose is like when we do these three calculations and we are moving from heart refoc to dft then in dft we are increasing the size as well so it will actually uh, make you come closer to the experimental value and that is what all the purpose is and not only that frequency calculations are useful when you are trying to find a minimum energy structure so people always ask you have you done hcl calculation to check whether the structure is minima or not so for that you also have to done and you can also generate an IR spectra so I have recorded almost 10 times this video but because 
there is a some problem with be because of that i am not able to show all the calculations but the procedure is same you have to just perform this calculation you have to just uh, compare the results so i think that is for this video and hope i will meet you in the next video thanks for watching my videos bye bye